Kevin Durant going to Golden State basically put LeBron on notice. Excuse me, you got to you got to put you got to do something Herculean in order to knock us off. And LeBron James averaged a triple double in the finals and still couldn't beat him. Still lost in five. So what, why should we believe it's going to be any different this year? Well, this is the deeper Cavs team. The potential, to, the potential to be the best Cleveland Cavaliers team LeBron James has had in the last four years. I really believe that. And, and the moves that they made in the deal for Kyrie Irving, they got back all that they could in that deal. They really did. It, I know that was devastating to the organization and to LeBron, even when Kyrie said he wanted to be traded. They got back all they could with, by the way, the gem being possibly number one pick in the draft next year. Yes. When they added Dwayne Wade, though, to me, that put them over the top. All right, all right, all right. Now, so what are you trying to say? They're not going to beat the Golden State Warriors. I don't <laughs> think they're going to beat the Golden State Warriors, if that's what you're asking me. I don't believe that. And you don't believe it either. <laughs> and you don't <laughs> believe it either. I know, but what I'm saying is this. Here's what and you know what? You know what? Nobody here's, in here believes here's, that either. Here's what, I, Nobody here's, believes here's what I will say to you about what I'm – and I want to get Max involved up in this. Yeah. Max, feel free to chime in in a second. But this is what I believe. I believe even though Golden State should be the favorite, I think that Cleveland now is better than they were last year. I can make a, I can make an argument. Hold on. I can make an argument that Cleveland that hold on, hold on, hold on. I can make an argument that Cleveland, this is the best team LeBron has ever played on. Now, I will ask you, is that true? Is that, I mean, with D-Wade, with D-Wade, with JR, with Kyle, with Love, with Tristan, everybody, Jamie Crowder, Isaiah, I'm sorry, I'm saying, assuming Isaiah Thomas comes back healthy. If Isaiah Thomas comes back healthy, I believe this is the best team LeBron will have had, which means to me, no excuses. What about you? Three things have to happen for that to be true. Okay. I'm, leaving, I'm leaving the door open for that possibility because I think potentially they could be. A couple of things. First and foremost, Isaiah Thomas has to come back. And not just in a reasonable amount of time. Look, if Isaiah Thomas comes back at the end of January and he gets 30 games in, if he looks the same physically, okay, that's a big if. If he does that, yes, this team has the potential to be the best team he's ever had. If Dwayne Wade holds up and they can preserve him throughout the regular season and he has his biggest moments April, May, and June, yes, this team potentially could be the best that LeBron's ever had. And then the final piece is Derrick Rose. I think Derrick Rose... He has, to, he has to be a guy that makes a much bigger difference than the veterans they added last year because they thought they answered the question last year by adding some veteran guys. They couldn't do it when it mattered most. If Derrick Rose can give them a punch. And a lot of if. Physically, it's he, an awful lot of it. But guess what? I think they're all reasonable. I they're think, all yeah, reasonable. I think the all ifs in this case, guys. Ahead, Max. I think the ifs in this case are significant because last year there was no way anyone was going to touch a healthy Warriors team. They simply didn't have a chance. This Cavs team has a chance, theoretically at least, this Cavs team has a chance to win. It's unlikely, mainly because, Tim, if everything you say happens, they still haven't had enough time to build the chemistry that the Warriors have. But you mentioned Isaiah, you mentioned Derrick Rose, you mentioned Dwayne Wade. All those things are true. Crowder also is an answer of sorts to Draymond Green. Not a full answer, but a partial answer at least. My question to you, Tim, is do you think their high-usage players in Cleveland shoot well enough to beat the Warriors? They have some shooters, but... Are the guys who are going to get the bulk of the minutes, are they good enough shooters to beat the Warriors? That's a fair question because when you have Derrick Rose, Dwayne Wade on the court together with LeBron James, the spacing is completely different than what this team's done in the past. you got to remember, people forget, the Cleveland Cavaliers took the second most threes in the NBA last year. Only Houston shot more threes. So this is a team heavily reliant on that, and now you're bringing in two guys that don't really utilize that shot at all. So that's a fair and legitimate question. But overall, the depth and the number of guys that you could put into a game that you can trust to be productive, no one else in the Eastern Conference can we match gotta that. You got to go, but I want to say for the record here, you're lucky you got to go because I'm telling you right now, I, the best player in the world is, is playing on the best team, arguably, he may have ever had, but yet we're conceding to the Warriors, and none of us ever bring that up, but I'm going to get you later on that, Tim. I'm going to get you later.